Hey guys, my name is Nicholas Byrne and I've been lifting for over five years now. And in this video, I wanna help you avoid five big mistakes that could leave you with little to no gains, stunted height, and injuries that further limit your ability to get that dream body that you've always wanted. And trust me, I've made so many of these mistakes, so I just wanna help you avoid them and fast track your progress and leave you with no regret when getting started in the gym. Okay, let's get started. The first problem I want to address is ego lifting and not using proper form. Especially if you're a teen, if you're ego lifting and not working out properly, this could lead to stunted growth because of injury to a growth plate. You can also get long lasting damage and a big embarrassment for future you. Trust me, I know it feels super good to lift heavy weights, but if you're sacrificing range of motion and proper form, it's not worth it. Here's me when I first started working out. As you can see, I was ego lifting and only focusing on impressing my friends and myself, but I had really, really bad form and I didn't even go halfway down before pressing the weights up. If I learned the proper form of bench press and didn't ego lift prior to this, then I could have fast tracked my progress and also done this a lot safer. Also, one thing, if a workout or routine causes you pain, don't do it. Just because it works for someone else doesn't mean it'll work for you. And there's so many different workouts out there that you can just experiment and use. So yeah, if any workout Workout is causing you pain don't do it please try to find a movement that is really comfortable for your body and extremely fun to do those are the best type of workouts the next problem is not taking progress photos taking progress photos might seem uncomfortable or embarrassing at first but these photos are really important to show you why you started and how much you've accomplished it's really easy to feel like you've made no progress especially if you're looking at your body every single day not noticing the changes and this can lead to less motivation and we don't want that we want you to be proud of what you accomplish and gain that self-confidence of changing i want you to have a photo where you can look back at and be proud of what you've accomplished there's really only upsides to taking progress photos so take them and you can also make like a super cool progress video and like post it on youtube and get a lot of views so you know, only pros. Up next is picking a training split. Training splits is basically how you divide your workout throughout the weeks, giving your muscles ample time to recover between sessions, leading to more muscle growth. A few popular workout splits you can choose from are the full body split, which is basically training your full body in a session two to three times a week. Another one is the upper lower body split, which divides your training into upper and lower body days, usually performed four days out of the week. A more intensive one is the Arnold split, which is really nice and it's shown here. And last, my personal favorite is the push-pull leg, and I think it's also the most common workout routine, which basically divides your workout into three main categories, push, pull, and legs. Push being chest, shoulder, and triceps, pull being back and biceps, and legs being legs and abs. And for reference, here is my personal push-pull leg routine. Next is not consuming enough protein. Protein is the building block of your muscles. Your body needs protein to grow, repair, and to work properly. I cannot express how important it is to get protein. It's as simple as if you don't get protein, your muscles aren't gonna grow. Back before when I was preparing for my powerlifting competition, I was averaging around 80 grams of protein per day. And although this is perfectly fine, I wasn't enough to see great results. So for the following month, I increased my protein intake by chugging 90 gram protein shakes, gagging, and getting it down. And although this is definitely not the best way to go at it. My bench press went from 245 to 275 in just about a month. And prior to taking these protein shakes, my bench press was around 245 and it was plateaued and it was not increasing. That just shows you how important protein is. It's great for building muscle and it helps you recover way faster. And again, you probably shouldn't increase your protein intake by chugging 90 gram protein shakes, but by actually eating food that is high in protein like seafood, chicken, and steak. I was just really desperate, but protein shakes are definitely fine as long as you're consuming them in safe amounts like 30 to 50 grams. The general rule of protein is consuming one gram of protein per pound of body weight and this can differ between cutting and bulking. If you're cutting, increase the protein intake. If you're bulking, just keep it the same. Don't worry about it as much. And lastly, don't compare yourself to others. Genetics matter. Everyone moves at their own pace. Don't compare yourself to your friend who has been lifting the same amount of time as you but has better results. That is just genetics. But 
This doesn't mean you can't look great with bad genetics. It just means it's gonna take you a little longer to get the results that you want. Don't let yourself get down and just be consistent and put in the hard work and the results will follow. Also, there is a lot of stigma on what is and what is not achievable with steroids. In the last year or so, I've been seeing a significant amount of people lower the bar on what they think is achievable natural. Some people can't believe that I'm natural, even though I am. Yes, I have great genetics, but this was also the result of five years of consistent hard work. A lot of people are using the phrase that's not achievable natural to justify their lack of effort or justify using steroids. It's all about consistency and work. Don't focus on the results but focus on the journey. Have fun, gain confidence, and better yourself. That's the whole point of the gym. Okay that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and yeah I'll see you guys later. Good luck on your gym journey. Bye!